The Chicago Bears have made a trade. Not what we thought, though. But still, a trade nonetheless. Got to break down how the Bears have tried to address the offensive line with an interesting name that has popped back up. And it starts right now. Now, if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page. We do talk Chicago sports daily on this channel, the only channel talking Chicago sports, how Chicago talks. So make sure that you get in tune with us, man. So GM Ryan Poles doing a little bit of cooking. An interesting name coming to the Chicago Bears as the Chicago Bears and Buffalo Bills have made trades for Ryan Bates for a 2024 fifth round pick. Now, this is an interesting name because Bates is a name that has popped back up for the Chicago Bears. Remember, uh, I want to say two 2022 free agency. Yeah. Um, he was a restricted free agent. The Chicago Bears offered him a, uh, a contract, and the Bills went on to end up matching that contract. So Bates ended up continuing to be a member of the Bills for the last couple of seasons. But now, seems like the Chicago Bears still keeping their eye on Bates, still liking what they see from him, are making a trade for him, trying to bolster up this offensive line a little bit more. Now, I know the expectation was that Bates could come over here before, right, and maybe you would try to transition him in at center, but you still had Cody Whitehair there, so you felt like you could make some different moves there. It will be interesting to see what the Bears try to do here with Bates. As Bates has played most of his NFL career as a guard, just about all of his NFL career as a guard with the uh, um, Buffalo Bills, but at 27 years old and somebody who has been... Uh, in and out, consistent, was able to come in in some spot moments when the Bills were dealing with some injury, ended up being able to start all of the 2021 season. And in the 2022-2023 season, I believe he ended up starting a couple of games here and there. And then last year, being predominantly off the bench, the Bears making this trade basically for somebody who Ryan Poles evaluated a couple of years ago and really found intriguing. Now, I want to know how you guys feel. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be down there talking with you as well. Do you like the trade of Ryan Poles going out and getting Ryan Bates, somebody who he'd be, he had been interested in before? Um, but now here's what's interesting, right? He comes here and has a couple more years on this deal, still two more years on his current contract, which hits the Bears with about $5.4 million annually over the next couple of seasons. So whatever the plan that Ryan Poles had before, now you get to implement that. You're still getting him on the money deal, basically, that you wanted to go out there and get him at. But now you have an opportunity to kind of come in with a little bit more offensive line depth as you go out into, and try to address things in the draft. What I do think makes this a little bit more interesting is – that he has played most of his time at guard, both sides, right? And when you look at that, is this an insurance move possibly to say, hey, listen, we like Tevin Jenkins. We believe that Tevin Jenkins can be a monster out there, but we need to see a season of health for Tevin Jenkins. And if we don't have that season, we need to at least be able to go out there and put somebody out who we know is competent. We've got two guards who have missed multiple weeks, a ton of time, a ton of issues. So at a minimum, if you still go into next season with Nate Davis and Tevin Jenkins being your starting guards, which I would expect the Chicago Bears to do, I would think that you would more so have this guy as a guy who can go out there and, hey, listen, I can step in here. I can be a, a fill in here. We can do swing guards type situation here, right? Normally there's a swing tackle. We may need swing guards with how, uh, how much injury we deal with at the guard position on both sides. I like the fact that Ryan Poles addressing this issue at, a, at with a fifth round pick here, something where we've seen him go offensive line before something where we've seen him be able to get good talent there, but maybe he felt, listen, We've already evaluated this guy. We already know, what's, know what he brings to the table. We already know what kind of player he is. And so we would like to just get him in here with that stability. If we can get him in a starting position, which I believe when Ryan Poles initially wanted to trade for him, right? I want to say this is kind of the guy 
if I if I remember correctly, Ryan Bates was the guy before we ended up going out and getting Lucas Patrick when this all was when this all ended up coming down. And then um yeah, or maybe it was at the same time, one or the other, but th- there was definitely this belief that Bates, who had come off a season starting most of the games, could be a capable starter in the NFL. And I still believe that to be the case today. And so I am excited about this. 27 years old. I think this is a good get for a fifth round pick. Uh let me know how you guys feel in the comments below. I I think this still allows you some flexibility as well to be able to go out there and add uh, a player in the draft and he doesn't have to come in and be a superstar right away as well because you have that offensive line depth so always good to see that as well but again let me know how you guys feel in the comments below let me know if you think this maybe starts the run of trades for the Chicago Bears moving forward does this maybe get the ball rolling with some pieces going back and forth in the draft I'll be down there talking with you as well as always it's your boy Pat the designer back at it again to continue watching our Chicago Bears content click the links on the screen check the links in the description below and make sure to tune into the daily show today we had a ton of great content as well y'all stay safe out the chicago bear dot peace